What's up guys, Tech. I uh, wanted to show you guys uh, one of my favorite softwares that's free on your Windows PC that you can make any image transparent. So if you want to do any kind of thumbnail for your video, which I did as an example, as you see right now, this I made for my live stream on Dead by Daylight that I'm going to start doing every night. And I started last night had a little hiccup deleted that video so but this is one of the videos that one of uh, I guess the thumbnails that I want to create or I wanted to make so uh, so let me get into it and let me show you how what software that is real quick and how it works for, and it's pretty simple as anything so let's do it alright guys so if you go to your start menu and you type in paint 3d comes up so the Windows 10 comes with this feature. I don't know if it's on a Windows 7, but I it believes this is a win I have a Windows 10, so I've seen I've never seen it on a Windows 7 before. Uh, so I have a Windows 10. I mean, so this feature is called Paint 3D. It's really unique. It's simple, easy to use. So let's say I wanted to do a. There's a lot you could do. You can make 3D collections. You can do a lot of stuff. So I want to make a quick transparent image of let's take a picture what do you call it fort night so let's save this picture and stay here all right let's go back here let's open new one file click on file click on insert and then you look for that image that you save there it is right there so bam it's right there right simple as that you click bring in your image again you go to menu insert it or browse for it and after you do after you do that which I just kind of X'd out let me do it again insert where's Wolfie at Wolfie okay all right cool all right so next you click on this little magic tool select magic select click that it's all all is asking you to do is how, where do you want it to basically do the transparency so I want it from here maybe up here and you can see on this right side it shows you the example what it's trying to tell you the closer you get the try the object understands okay this is what he wants to transparent but it, it sometimes you got to do it manually but Let's see what it does. Damn, did a good job. But it does a really good job with certain colors. So if you have a, a whole black wall or a blue, co solid colors works well. But if there's multiple colors distorted, it kind of puts a difficult effect to it. So click done and then voila. So if we zoom out, we can basically crop that out. And then basically you have like a 3D dimensional thing. You can also always um, you know make this like let's do a 3d view right so it shows you three-dimensional view of what it looks like it's a really good feature so now next thing you do is you select the object that we just wanted it um, let's do select and I want this <clears throat> delete that and then I'm just gonna put this guy back in here all right, and uh, yeah, let's put them in here like that far, or we can make them like that. All right, and then you gotta go to canvas, transparency, and that's it. Simple as that. There's other things people usually do. They put another background to it or another kind of special effect to it. Uh, you can also add 3D shapes to it, so you can Google. You can add your own objects as you will. Um, I don't know. You want to put a a knife. Okay. Let's say you want to put. I don't know. Maybe we can put this object in his hand. Look at that. So we have to. Let's first. Um, yeah, not flip it, but we can. No, not changes rotate. We gotta change its shape. Okay. All right. Uh, bring it down. Now you want it in his hand. So then you click on this object. 
zoom in as much as possible so it can look like it's in his hand. And then bam, voila. Well, okay. Alright, that's close enough. You guys get the idea. And look at that. You basically just created your own transparent 3D dimension 3D picture uh, or you know image whatever you're gonna save it as. So next important step is saving it. Go to menu, save as, right? This is where it's really important. You click on image and then you click on PNG and you click on transparent. Now you can obviously change the scale as you wish, but uh, I would leave it as it is. And save. And we'll save it where we had it. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll save it as we have. We just name it uh, test. Actually, yeah, let's name it test. Okay, save. <clears throat> and there's Woofy. So, simple as that. Look at that. So now that's where I usually go into creating a thumbnail and uh, and you know I make that happen. So again, simple. A uh, little tool, easy to use to create your own 3D dimensional transparent thumbnails, whatever you want to call it. Um, free software and Paint 3D should be on your Windows 10. If you have a Windows 7, maybe you can download this. I'm not sure if you Google it. Uh, I haven't looked into that. Maybe you can. Um, so, but if you have a Windows 10, it comes with it as a feature that's already built in. So. Anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little short video of how to create your own transparent little image. Hope you guys have fun. Uh, enjoy and uh, I'm out.